This video will review the basic principles in writing a short paragraph. Let's call it the main parts of a paragraph. First of all, let's suppose that your teacher assigns you to write a paragraph. And she gives you this topic. Write about your activities. So, she means that the topic is your activities. She'd like to know your activities. However, this topic is too broad. It is not specific enough. You then have the freedom to decide what activities to write about. Let's use a tool to gather ideas. The tool is called brainstorming. And the kind of brainstorming that we are going to use is the word mapping. Now, from the topic my activities, you narrow it down to let's say where? At school or at the office? Then what do I do at what time? How do I feel? And who am I with? You can add more points to write there and try to answer the question words who, what, where, when, why, and how or 5W plus 1H. You can write a draft of your paragraph first. Let's fast forward. You have now written your paragraph. There are three main parts of the paragraph, namely topic sentence, one sentence is enough in here, supporting sentences, perhaps you want to write about five to eight sentences here, and the last one, concluding sentence, one sentence is enough here. Here is your topic sentence. I spend most of my morning time studying at school. This underlined part is the main idea or controlling idea. This is the part that you are going to explain further in your paragraph. The next one, the supporting sentences, explains the main idea or controlling idea with examples. And lastly, the concluding sentence rephrases the topic sentence. Please remember to use different wording here, but you can use the keywords in the topic sentence, such as the word busy in I spend and the word morning. The paragraph that you are going to submit to your teacher is not complete without a title. Let's make a good title for our writing. What is a good title? A good title should be interesting. It attracts readers to read the piece of writing. A good title should deliver a message. It reflects the content and purpose of the writing. And lastly, a good title should be correctly punctuated. It follows the international writing standards. Now we are ready with our paragraph. I want you to decide a good title for the paragraph. And you can tell me why you choose to use that title. I have prepared the paragraph here. And of course, the first sentence of the paragraph must be indented. All right. Now, which title do you think is the best for the paragraph? Not all of my students know how to punctuate the title, but of course you are not one of them. 
Now please correct the writing of the titles below. The first one is not a title, of course. I mean, your teacher's topic is not a title. You need to find a short wording to reflect the content and message of the paragraph. The others, the wording looks okay, but they are badly punctuated. How can they be best rewritten?